Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm gonna teach you how to stitch. Yes, I know. Yes, I know you think you know how to stitch. But some of you don't. And this is one of the most important things that a client will notice first. So make sure your stitching is right. And yes, I also know there are a lot of other tutorials out there, but you're not watching. You're not watching. So if I got your attention now, please watch this tutorial. There are a couple of things that help you achieve that perfect stitch. If your holes are not lined up, the stitching will show. Instead of getting a nice fluid straight stitch like I do here, you're gonna get a zigzag where everybody's trying to get somewhere else. If you have a curve line, make sure the distance between your stitching line and the edge of your leather is exactly the same. For this, we can use two types of tools a compass or a specialized tool like this and I'll show you now exactly how to use both of them efficiently. The best way to get all the holes aligned is to make use of a pre-made pattern. When you have a pattern, all the holes are already aligned. If you take your time and you punch all the holes exactly where the pattern shows it, you will have a straight line, which is what you want. The second thing you have to be careful with when you're stitching is make sure the thread follows exactly the same motion through the holes. If you started with the right going on top of the left, continue like this for the entire stitch. Pull up with your left, pull down with your right. It is very important to repeat exactly the same motion. Get into a habit of following the same movements all throughout your stitch. When you tighten, the thread. Make sure you use the same force. So why not use our stitching lesson to make something useful as well. This little pouch, this little pocket that you can attach to your belt, it'll make a beautiful gift. All right, you've never made anything out of leather. This is a good start. You're welcome. The pattern will be free, available to download in a link down below. I used five to six ounce vegetable tan leather for this. And um, I made uh, holes with a 1.5 millimeter hole puncher. And I used waxed thread, one millimeter thick. Also, I used exactly three rapid rivets. Okay. Uh, they're nine millimeters in diameter and uh, they have a nine millimeter shaft, also a 20 millimeter buckle. But if your buckle is not exactly this width, use whatever buckle you have, doesn't matter. As long as the strap is cut to fit your particular buckle. This is just a pretext for me to try and get you to learn the perfect stitching. But before you go and download the pattern, please help me help you find that subscribe button. Hit it, click on the bell button. And next time I have something free to give out. Next time we hold the contest, you will receive a notification and you can take part. Now you can get the pattern printed and we can start working right away. Now that you have the files on your computer, you have to open and print them. I recommend using Adobe Reader. 
This is software that's free to use, that's what I use. You cannot open and uh, print them using editing software like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw or other software that can change the pattern itself. Also, our patterns are not compatible with laser cutters of any sort. There is one setting you need to have checked when printing the pattern. Please keep actual size or print at 100% is the same thing. The page size is A4. However, you can go ahead and choose letter or you can choose a legal size, which are more popular in the US. The first page will contain a sizing diagram. There are two squares. Make sure when you print the square is five or two inches in size. So go ahead, use a ruler, make sure the size is right. When you print the patterns, you need to cut them um, along the dotted line, okay? The one that has scissors. It's very important, very important, when you put them together, both of those scissor sides match up. After we got all the patterns printed, we paste them together. And then we cut them out of the leather. You don't need to cut precisely on the black lines at this stage. Get all the pieces out of, um, out of these pages. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you next how to use these paper pieces to cut your leather. Now choose the right leather for your project and then place the paper patterns on top of the leather. Use some masking tape to hold every piece flat, completely flat on the leather. At this stage, you're ready to go ahead and punch the holes. Make sure you get all the holes. Don't miss any because it'll avoid uh, a lot of frustration later. So after you've punched all the holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather pieces out. You have to cut precisely on the black lines. Make sure the blade that you're using, whatever blade that is, is at the right angle, 90 degrees. At this stage, you should have every piece needed to finish your design. 